Here you see all kinds of LEDs, light emitting diodes. Take a few of them out. Um, this is a red one, an orange one, another red one, a green one, and all these LEDs have their own properties. And that means that each LED, and this is dependent on the color, need a certain voltage to work properly. I tested one red LED and I found that uh, these voltages uh, gave the following results. Very high um, light emission at 1.93 volts, high light emission 1.8, medium 1.7 and low 1.6. I have to say this applies to only one type of LED and in fact for each LED you have to find it out experimentally and individually. Uh, I want to demonstrate now a circuit with a white LED. I used the same circuit as earlier. This is also a resistor from 470 ohms. And I found these values, low light emission at 2.5, medium 2.6, high 2.7, very high 2.8, and extreme light emission from the white LED at 2.9 volts. I measure this all in a condition uh, in daylight, and the more I'm going to test now how this white LED operates in the dark. Here you see the white LED. It now has a voltage parallel to it from 2.6, uh, sorry, 75 volts. And I'm going to rise the voltage now to. Two point nine six, let's say three volts, and you can see that the white LED lights up um, very well. Switch out the, the light now, so it's very clear. Three volts. I go up now to. A higher voltage and it's even more clear and this is 3.1 volts. I can go higher up to let's say 3.2 or so, but that's more or less a limit because uh, when the voltage gets too high, uh, the LED will burn out. So I'm going back now. This is two. This is 2.6. Eight two point seven eight three point zero two. So when we compare all these values to the red LED, <coughs> uh, we can see that the white LED takes much higher a much higher voltage. To work properly. So that's something to take in account. When you work with a white LED. <coughs>